Good. And turn a little bit early just for his sake. Good. Just keep, keep your confidence. Good. He goes forward. Into the contact, into the straight contact. Well done. Good. Reins come inward slightly if he's a little above the bit. Yes, good. Good. Yep. Left rein in a little. Yes, good. And now, because he's a little inattentive, take him a little lower. Yep. Yep. And into the bridle and a little lower. That's a girl. Yes, that's better. Into the bridle and a little lower. Yes, well done. Straight down the long side. Keep that, keep that level of go. Yes, super. Yes, very good. Good. One more circle at A. Yes. Good. Very nice. Uh, think a little ahead of yourself, just a little bit more. Liz, like you're like you're riding him a little bit more to the point ahead of him. That's good. It makes a difference. That's good. Think about the point further ahead of you, a little further out that you're riding him to it. So he reaches to it. You reach to it. Um, if you can, I mean, yeah, yeah, no, I, or go to the back or something, I don't know. I don't want him to be distracted. Good, 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 Liz. Very good, very good. And then at A, transition to the walk. Yes, good, well done. So especially with the bigger horse, it gets tempting to ride it right here in front of you, you know, like, yeah. so if you kind of make him stretch himself to that point, yeah. it gives him the freedom that you were talking about earlier, is that he starts to reach for it, the yeah. point further ahead. So like he got that pretty I thought so too, I thought it was very good. Yes, yes. He's a three poop kind of guy. Yeah, the other one was all in a nice pile. <laughs> yeah. I love the Okay, let's pick him up again. Where have you been doing the leg yields from the quarter line to the wall? into the contact yes and the veins come together and they kind of lift the back up so liz let's just talk about that for one second because i think it's really important um so when you pick up you pick up and then as he comes in you kind of it's a funny kind of very small almost like you turn your hand this way and your body everything kind of uh, you open a door, but you don't let go. And so it's just, it's, so it's not, it has a backwards pressure in your hand, it has this kind of push, mm -hmm. but right from, right from being together. And it will take a while for him to understand what that means. But it'll be what you do for Piaf later on. I mean, it's what you will do always. Good, very nice, yes, good. And it gives a little bit of a reach to your ring. A little bit left bend here, a little bit left bend. Yeah, through the corner. Good. And now, when you feel that he's a little unsteady, now you go a little more forward and your hand has a little reach. Oftentimes, they become unsteady because there's backwards pressure. And so one side feels the restriction and the other side doesn't. So you just push him to the reins. Push him to the reins and leg yields. Yes. Yes, doesn't matter. You just keep pushing him to the reins. Doesn't matter. Bend left. Bend left. Push him to the reins. Good. Good. Push him out. Look to the right slightly. Think of where you're going and that he takes his good, he takes his pretty movement forward. Yeah, well done. And again. Good. 
gorge, and the leg yield. All right, so you got to push him in a little bit more. Work the body there. Work the body. Doesn't matter. Work the body. Just circle. Just circle till you like the connection again. But work it out with your legs. Yes, the hand receives. Because right now it's tempting again to go for the reins. But it doesn't really... It doesn't really teach him. Yes, go, go, the body, ride the body, Liz, ride the body, ride his body, ride his body, yes, yes, ride his body, flex left, ride his body. Doesn't matter, skip the head part. Ride his body, ride his, ride his body, good. That was good, and one more time. Yes, yes, you will work that out in the, in the neck and head. Ride the body, ride his body. Yes, 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 ride it. Ride it through, doesn't matter, ride it through. Yes, yes, one circle. Ride him through, ride him forward. Yes, he just has to get adjusted. Left hand a little softer if you can. Yes, let his neck get out there. And one, two, one, two. Ride his body, this, yep. Yes, yes, left hand into the neck slightly, good. Post, into the contact and a little lower. So now you can work with the hands a little bit. Flexing left, flexing left, yep, flexing left, and a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Good, good, good and a little bit bend left. So a part of the problem is he doesn't quite go up to the right rein. So even if you're using your reins now, it has to be from your leg to your hand. Yes, and give just a little. Make, make a little more room for his neck. Yeah, good, just a little bit more room for his long neck, doesn't matter. Good. When you get back to C, transition to walk. Yeah, better. Good. Make a little bit more room. And walking. Good. And long ways. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was writing up the same as this one, but... Well, and you might be, you know, it's just, they just have different moments yeah. of, whoa, that turn didn't work for me. Yeah. Let's go the other way. But I like the fact, what you, what you really, what's really important is that you don't get, don't let him talk you into the rain. That's right, but it will just take time. It's, yeah. it's typical what he's doing. And he's got a long stride and a long neck. So it is a little bit, it, you have to make a little bit more room than you think, um, but that's still part of the same riding it out there uh, because otherwise he gets focused right here yeah. in his mouth and oh, you've got a hold of that and this and you know, he's like, why are you holding me? And and uh, it just focuses, he focuses your attention and his own attention on that. Yeah. Good, and so a little bit like the, the neck is pushed out. And when you're ready, trotting, sitting. Good, one, two. Yes, really focus on your cadence a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more forward. He, it, 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 he's, not, he's not quite committed. He has to commit out there.
commit forward, commit forward. Yeah, keep your connection and commit to the bit. Commit to the bit. Commit. Yes. Yes. And a little bit more trot from your leg. Go back into his better trot. Good. Good. That would be better. Yes. And now leg yield. Make that trot better. Good girl. Yes. It's a little bit riskier. Take a chance. Good. That's okay, no problem. Careful that you push in rather than pull up to the side. Yeah, push him in. Go straight, no leg yield. Good. Now just let's get this again. What, into the contact. It, keep it, keep it a little into the contact. One, two, one, two. A little bit more range close against his neck. Yes, good. And now push. Let him understand. No, no leg yield. Let him just get confident, a little more confident in this. Good, you can just ride to the side. Good. Now, legs and your seat. Legs and one, two. You draw his hind legs through, Liz. Just take your time. Good. Draw his hind legs through. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Get that body working a little bit more back connected to the front. Yep, and, and, and straight up there. Go straight, pull arena again. Um, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, yes. One, two, one, two, one, two. Doesn't matter, just keep your range. Just keep them, it doesn't matter, push them in. So it, it, this actually gives you an opportunity to correct him multiple times so that he learns. And watch that your right rein isn't doing the job that your right leg should do. Good. You can play a little bit lower in the mouth, but it's got to be connected by your leg, by his leg. So what you need his body to do there is not give to the bit, but to get in front of you. He has to commit his motion to be in front of you. Yep, yes, 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 yes. One more long side. Yes, Liz. Give your, yes. Yeah, and when he makes a mistake, you respond only leg. Yes, yes, exactly, and give a walk break. So he's just getting that there, but it's a, it's not an easy thing. I mean, this, you're sort of establishing his way of going for the rest of his life. So the fact that you have to help him, but if he learns now that the leg goes to the bit, you don't ever have to not teach the, the, bit, not the bit to the, yeah. yes, exactly. And the reason that people don't do it is because they are, they feel the horse be unsteady and we're all hand oriented as people. And so we go to try to fix and stabilize what's moving yeah. where we really need the horse to fix it with his own body. Yes, and, that's right. And he was, so, and he was forward and through behind. I never felt like I had to really push him into the bridle. Right. It was like just a different. It was to, yeah, it, it was very different. So this is kind of yeah. a new. Yeah. Um, but this is this is the more classical yeah. riding. Yeah. Bandero came with his own ideas you know, that come from the kind of work he was having to do. Right. You know, you have to, in a small space, do a lot of stuff and, yep. whereas, I mean, you can imagine this poor horse, if he were in a circus, he'd be like, because he's too big, you know, he, he wouldn't handle that setting. No. I mean, he might do it, but, all right, let's go the other way, same thing. So let's, today, Liz, let's focus on this, because this is what you really need. Don't even do the leg yoke. I mean, you know how to do them. That's, you, you can certainly practice those, but let's just focus on, on connection. Letting him understand connection.
Good. And when you're ready, then let's go up and just talk. Hands go together. And that's what gives him confidence that he's to go out there. As you pick up, he's to go out there. Yeah, push through. Yes, good. And then there's a softening once you feel that he went out there. But make room for his neck to go out there so that the forward doesn't scrunch him. Yes, and now you just think, a oh, one, two, one, two, into the contact, into the contact, good, good, into the contact. Whenever he lifts up, your, your leg just says, come into the bit, into the bit. He'll get better and better. That make him sort of take. The other thing is most, most PREs are too light in the bridle yeah. coming from their back, back legs. They don't want to push on the bridle. So we have to really show him that that's where he's supposed to work. Excellent, doesn't matter, yes. Yes, yes. Very cons consistent, one, two. And now just your left hand goes slightly inwards, support, and down the long side again. Yes. 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 Doesn't matter. Yes. Good. Super riding. Very good riding. Yes. Transition to walk. Yes. Long range. So that was, so it's taken maybe 20 minutes to get the idea. Felt yes, yes. He, I felt like he was just enough pressure on my hands taking the bridle, but still pushing from the Yes, hands. and you'll see, and that, and the really back good. starts to go like yeah. that, so you start to feel, like, whoa. Yeah. And that's what rewards you for the, yeah. for, for the patience that it takes not to do the hand. That you have to, that's a leap of faith. Like, are you sure, Ann, that this is going to work? <laughs> because I've gone 20 minutes and it hasn't worked yet. But, um, it, it, I mean, how would a horse understand that concept? Right. They have to just do it yeah. so much that yeah. that is how they go. Yeah. And again, the criticisms of the PREs is that they don't use their backs, mm -hmm. they just move their legs. Yeah. You know, you hear right. all that stuff. Right. Well, again, that's because they're very shy about the contact. Mm -hmm. they're, they're soft and like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to push my face on that. And whereas a, a, a big old warm blood like, okay, whatever. Yeah. You, want me, you want my teeth on that bit? No problem. Right. And um, so it takes even more patience for these guys because if they just round their neck in anticipation of the fact you're going to have a hold of the bit, they flat, they stop in their back. Yeah. So now they're just doing, yeah. and he would do that. He would go the wrong way just as easily as any other PRE. Why not? Because he, he has all the sensitivity. What? Uh, yes. And then when he would start to go like that, if that's how he were ridden for a year, it would start to get this kind of wobble, yeah. you know. Yeah. It just gets to be not through. And then and then it's very hard to correct that late later. I think so too. No, no, and and no, and um Yes. Yes, he has no mannerisms that came from no something bad. else no he was just ridden in a nice yeah. in a nice way so yeah. now it's just you continuing that and adding to it now because as he as he gets more strength well as he gets more strength that trot it, this trot that i see today is different than the trot that he came with yeah. and more it's it's yes it is, it's more, and, and balanced, and that's yeah. why it, it, yeah. his balance is good. Yeah. And um, and you can actually, I mean, now we're starting to see his muscle yeah. come, yeah. and that will only get more and more and more. 
Do you want to do any more or do you want to be done with Let's do a warm-up. Okay. I mean, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. And, um, you know, he still is a baby. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm riding him like four days a week. Fine. I'm not, I'm really al almost never riding him two days in a row. Okay. Um, but I'm lunging him. I'm a yeah, baby. no, I think that's perfect. So, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I think that's great. I think that that's a good amount. Um, and he's developing as he should. Yeah, no, th that's really good. <laughs> he's doing really good. Yeah, I mean. And the first couple, he was unfound. Right, I know, and we really couldn't do much. So in a month's time, and the other thing is, is that, well, you know, and this is sort of um, interesting. Shoes make a huge difference in stability. There comes a point in time where we end up putting the hind shoes on for the same reason. Yeah. Not for soles like him, but yeah. for a little bit more stability yeah. behind. But that's usually at eight or nine years old. It doesn't. Yeah. Do you feel like he's moving? I mean, it seems like, so he's clearly like more organized. Um, it doesn't feel like he's hitting himself. No, he's not. I mean, I didn't see hitting today at all. I did not hear it either. No, I didn't have forgot about that. I did not see it or hear it. And, um, and that is a balanced thing too. And a, and a, and a getting the strength to carry the shoe. And now it doesn't look like a horse that's got new shoes on. Right. Like, it's just how it goes. Somebody took my feet. Um, Rafino did the same thing with his, like, I don't know how to go with this. Um, and as you ride during the week, uh, the other t two times that you're riding on your own, you can make the decisions based on his connection. Yeah. So if you get into a leg heel, like let's say it starts pretty connected into the leg heel, it stops being connected. Yeah. You can always say, go straight, connect. Yeah. So you put in the horse what I always refer to as a neutral. Yeah. So it's yeah, the hey, yeah, yeah, this is how you go. Remember, you don't we don't cross, we don't we go out there and then another leg go. Yeah. And I I'm you know, obviously the movements will not be difficult for him and uh, um, I think we go very quickly in, away from leg yields to shoulder in. Yeah. Yeah, I because I don't think that with his big body that, oh, and he's supple. Yeah. You know, leg right. yielding is usually for suppleness. Yeah. And it he's is very supple. Though, for the suppleness, we go straight with him because I know because we want him to connect rather than. That's right. We don't need him yeah. to give. Right. That's not. Okay. You know, there's nothing in his movement that is tense and needs a needs a relaxation. It feels like he's not chomping the bit as much. Either. You're right. He yeah. isn't. No, so the, I think he's relaxing. I think so too, and he's understanding his job. Um, interesting enough, he stands square now. Yeah. You know, because there in the while when that wasn't feeling so comfortable, yeah. he always was yeah. Yeah. moving off of it. And now, and and that's always a good thing. You know, you did the right thing when yeah. all of a sudden they just okay. stand like this. Their feet don't bother. They don't even yeah. think about their feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and that's with him turning out and everything. You know, on the feet, I, I'm really pleased with him. Yeah. I think that he's doing great, and because uh, you know what is going to happen, as the, so you can well imagine how much more organized the camp is going to feel. Oh yeah. Maybe yeah. not today, but in yeah. a month. Yeah. You know, because it's going to be because it's, right. yes, and that, and you know, don't, you don't even have to be cantering to work on canter. Mm -hmm. yeah. That trot right. work right. will make yeah. canter feel so good, and he will gain confidence in himself. Yeah. Because yeah. he's big, you know, and he's lanky and big strided and you know if he's not balanced i'm sure he doesn't think it's very fun <laughs> no, that's not so funny. especially in the indoor